charismatic Mr. Crosby. Careless, Hedrick, I'll <laughs> buy that, yes. And what about the mediocre Marvin Hamlish? Oh, <laughs> no, Marvin, dear boy. We would never use such an adjective in describing you. Neither would I, but you two have already used up all the good ones. <laughs> Listen, Bing, did you know that one of the first jobs that Marvin ever had was he was the rehearsal pianist for the Bell Telephone Hour no. show? No. Yes. Well, from such humble beginnings come legends. And Grammys and Oscars and... And, do and don't forget the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Why am I always the last to know? <laughs> but really, I was the kid who used to accompany all the performers at the rehearsal of the Bell Telephone Hour. And then on the day of the show, I'd stand on the side and I'd watch Donald Voorhees Donald conduct Voorhees, that magnificent yeah. orchestra. Mm -hmm. He was really marvelous. Great. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that one day I'd be standing up there myself. Yes, and Marvin has had some pretty wild dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's nice to see a local boy make good. Tell me, Marvin, did you ever dream when you were writing The Way We Were that someday it would wind up as the underlying theme of the production we're going to give here tonight? Can't say that I did. Well, it does, Marvin. And beautifully, too. I wonder if we could impose on you to uh, play it for us. As Sir Lawrence Olivier once said, I cannot resist the opportunity to play Hamlish. <laughs> play Hamlish. <laughs> Memories light the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories of the way. Yesterday Of the smiles we left behind Oh, my troubles seem so far away Smiles we gave to one another Now it looks as though they the way we were Oh, I believe in Painful to remember. 